My name is Michael at Miami Boat Ramps and Blackmore Marina. Welcome back guys to the greatest show on earth and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host Broncos Guru in collaboration with our good friend Wavy Boats and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back down at the ramp and today we're over at Black Point. It's kind of a murky day, we've had rain off and on and it's made things a little interesting. Here we've got our crew pulling up to the dock though and my man's going for the reach and oh, oh, Captain backs off a little bit and my man almost takes a swim. So we're gonna have to reapproach this one. Captain hits the throttle again. Now everybody's a little aware though. <laughs> we're aware that Cap's got a little bit of a heavy throttle hand. So now our crews are all kind of hanging on. But he's getting this thing sideways in the ramp and this is not how he wants to be set up at all. I think this crew is having some sort of mechanical issue though as well because the, the boat did stall out over here in front of us. It did immediately start, restart when they tried, but I'm not sure. But here we go, our guy got off the stern. He's gonna tie this one off. And we still got to get this thing back to right. Oh, 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 what's Captain doing? Oh, no, no, let go of the rope, bro. Don't hold on to that. No, 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 no. Oh, look out. Oh, no. And they hit the boat. Pull back on the throttle. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I can't tell if they hit the ramp or if they ran up on the concrete. Oh, my man. Our guy's over here checking his boat. They hit that boat pretty good, too. I don't know if this was mechanical, if the cap just got a little handsy on the throttle. The boat did stall out in front of us over here, so something was definitely going on. The boat did immediately restart though, but I'm wondering if this thing's not idling. In other words, at idle, if the boat's stalling, so the captain's having to give it a little more gas, and right here, it just, it, man, it backfired on him. I feel bad for these guys. And here is what's gonna be an issue here at Black Point today. So we've got a tide going down. And as that tide goes down, these ramps get slick. And add to the fact that it's been raining, the ramps are slick already. But you can kind of see where the ramps are a little darker. That's kind of a slime where it's tough for people to get a grip. And we're seeing a lot of this today where this crew right here can't get the boat out. He's just spinning tires. And it's gonna be a long day for that one, I think. I mean, you're gonna have to do everything you can to get as much weight on those rear tires. You're gonna have to make sure this boat's as far forward on the trailer as you possibly can get it. So we're adding some weight to the bumper of the truck here. And we got some crew moving to the bow of the boat, hopefully to add a little weight on that hitch. And let's see if it'll get us up this time. A little bounce in action. Are we gonna get up there? And we're gonna have a little success. You know, this Jeep next to me over here always scares me, but at least this time he's towing a boat that's a little bit more in range for this Jeep. The Jeep we had that sunk last week was definitely, they were over the weight limit. So our captain here approaching on this dock on the far left is having a little issue as well. So he pumped the brakes, but as soon as he did that, the bow swung away from the dock. And so he's gonna have to realign this one and try and reset it up. been interesting today because like I said it's kind of nasty down here it is still busy I mean this place is absolutely popping there are plenty of trucks and boats coming in and out so our caps coming back on the reapproach and the current's been messing with everybody today it's, it's been interesting to watch most people approach the dock so our cap appears to have a good line right here but if he pumps those brakes again that bow is likely going to come back out on Looks like he could hold the line, but he pumps the brakes. And our guys got the pull, but they've lost it, and the whole boat comes back out. So, what are we going to do here? They're trying to go for the grab. Oh, there we go. <laughs> We've got a line hero. My man just tosses the line. He's going to loop him in. Good save right there, bro. And he should be able to walk this one back in from this point. So our crew that had the line here has got this thing on the trailer, but they've got this trailer literally right against the dock. And it's going to be interesting to see how they pull this one out because, I mean, they are against it. So we're in the truck. We're beginning our pullout. But you can tell, look at the guy pulling the right. It's stuck. Oh, no, they're going to lose that one. I saw it rubbing. I mean, they had this trailer just so close to the dock. 
and basically they bent the guide pole and lost the plastic cap piece that comes on. So our crew's been trying to pull this vessel out for a few minutes now, but we're just in the same boat. They're just spinning tires, even up here at the top of the ramp. They just can't get that last couple feet in. And somebody's come over and basically has volunteered to try and pull them out. So it looks like we're gonna get some kind of tow line hooked up from the SUV in front to the Ford pickup truck behind and see if we can pull these guys out of here. This has been an all day adventure though. We've seen so many trucks try and pull out today and they've just not been able to do it i mean if this is one of those rough days if you don't have enough weight as far forward on that trailer as you can get it and that trailer's the boat is just not on there perfect you're gonna struggle but even these guys if you got it on there perfect it's been a hard one i mean four-wheel drive's almost been a necessity over here at black point today it's just and it's not surprising once again you know i hate to keep bringing that one up but you know just last week we saw a jeep sink down here and this is one of the reasons this place is so wild, especially at low tide. You get at low tide and these ramps are some of the slickest around. Just that slime that builds up on them and your tires are in it at that point in time. And then you add in the factor of like today where it's raining, it just elevates everything. So this crew's working on getting some straps tied up and they're gonna work on trying to pull this truck out the last few feet. I mean, he almost got out that last time. You can tell he's kind of at the top of the ramp. But it's just at one of those pinnacle points where now, as they reach the top of the ramp, the trailer, the weight of the stern of the boat is trying to pick up the tow hitch on the front of this thing. So what's happening is it's relieving pressure off those rear tires on the truck, just allowing them to spin. And they just really couldn't get past that last few feet. I have to imagine that it's not gonna take much of a pull from this SUV, hopefully to get these guys out. But it looks like they're using a pretty small line. So I just hope that these guys kind of stand clear and let's hope that nothing goes wrong here. They're giving a couple good tugs on it to kind of make sure they've got it on there. And our guy with the SUV is starting to pull forward. We're going to go ahead and get this thing taut. And let's see if this crew can finish this day up and get this thing out of here. And here we go with the pull. Once again, not a whole lot of extra effort needed there, but just enough to get this crew up and out of here. And they're on their way. And speaking of being on their way, we're going to go ahead and get on our way as well. Thanks for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps down at Black Point Marina. If you did, please check out some of our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things over at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet in Miami, Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.